For those of you that are new here, myself and Elena have been sailing around the world for the last seven years. I've been in charge the whole time as captain of the sailing vessel. Today, we're gonna to put our three-year-old son in charge. He's gonna get his first taste of responsibility. <laughs> oh, well, not that one. To... Oh, okay, where should we go? Let me trip in that. He's gonna be completely in charge of where we go and what we do. Let's go and find the dog. You wanna see goats? <laughs> oh my God, I'm exhausted. <laughs> Anxious? Nah, it'll be fine. You're not nervous? <laughs> no? Lenny, what do you want to do today, mate? We can do anything you want. Let's start by looking at a map. You're the captain today. Where do you want to go? You're going to go straight to here. <laughs> Where? Where to, mate? Through here and then around the river and then at through this place and then back through here. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Sounds good. We can go out here. Do you want to go out there? No, out here. Okay. When you do this, then you can see the prickles all everywhere on the plates. The prickles? Yeah, so I have to go around the prickles, around the fire, around the rain, and then throw here. There's okay. fire and rain. And prickles. Yeah, and prickles. So I think from that, I've deduced that he would like to go out the cut here and go and see the prickles, which is actually a reef. <laughs> Coral heads. Coral heads. It's a nice calm day. There's not much wind, so we're going to be motoring. Push that one, and then that one. <laughs> oh, oh, not that one. <laughs> Click the on button. Any sailors or probably any parents out there would be thinking, why the hell are you teaching the three-year-old where the buttons are to... Oh. Exactly. Exhibit A. For the uh, first time today he's getting, he thinks he can press everything. Yeah, uh, which is obviously terrible, but we're getting a new boat soon. We're only going to be on this boat for another couple of months. Then we're going to be on land and then we're flying to Vietnam. This silly, silly thing that we're teaching him is only going to be a problem for another couple of months. This is such a fun age. I've personally been waiting for the day that Lenny was old enough and smart enough to want to do this because we haven't shown him really the buttons as Riley said or the helm because we don't want him turning things off or turning things on when we're not looking. To have him actually get so excited about everything, all the buttons and stuff today, I couldn't wait for this day honestly. That pushes the dinghy inside of the boat so I can go for an adventure. <laughs> so you can go for an adventure? Yeah. Riley, can we come up on the anchor? Yeah. Okay, Lenny, you gotta push the up, only this side, okay? That's up, that's down. We wanna pull up the anchor, okay? Okay, up we go. That's it. <laughs> Keep holding up. All right, stop. Stop. Hey, you're doing a good job. Can I get a high five, dude? All right, Lenny, come up again. Now you go forwards and you tell me when you see the anchor. I don't see the anchor yet. I heard it, Gaga. Dad, I see it, Dada. So this squall behind me probably doesn't look so bad with this wide angle lens, but it's pretty big. There's so much thunder and lightning right now. And if this comes over us, we can't actually go out the cut as Lenny demanded with the mothership. So we might actually anchor it and then take the dinghy out the cut and go check out those prickles. <laughs> I love that he's calling them prickles. So we don't went to that place before the rain comes. Okay. So it's coming this way or this way or this way. The rain is crazy. Come on. The water's on, now we can go for adventure. I can see four prickles. One, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And what do we do about the prickles? We have to go around the prickles, around there, and there, and then to the water. I see a coral reef. Coral reef? Yeah, see? Okay, you better steer the boat then. Let's go to the helm.
This squall didn't quite come over, which is awesome. We still have really good visibility, so we can actually go out the cut. We need good visibility because there's coral heads everywhere. It's very narrow. There's actually some waves right now. What's that? I put this rock then I'm starting on the even faster. Finally, it was time for first mate Lenny to drop the anchor in the middle of a blue field of prickles. We'd heard about this site from some friends of ours we'd met through Young Cruisers. They'd seen a hammerhead shark here just a few days prior. Luckily, Lenny is a pretty good swimmer these days and there'd be a lot less splashing from him. Up oh, button, on down. I check. You have to stay here, okay? When do the big kids get to go diving? Okay, Lenny, do you know something? Yeah. Do you know that the prickles that you see on the navigation, they're actually coral heads? Coral heads? Uh-huh. And that's what we're about to go and look at. Under, on the roof? <laughs> Under the water. Under the water, okay. We make a smoothie. Don't forget to give Athletic Greens a try if you haven't already. Since we got addicted ourselves, we've actually gotten all of our friends and family addicted to it, also the crew. So we're always running out. I'm currently in stock at the moment. 75 vitamins and minerals. Tastes delicious. You don't even know you're drinking such goodness. Prebiotics, probiotics, antioxidants, and adaptogens. And it's just one scoop for every eight ounces of water. It's made from whole food source ingredients and has really been my energy boost of the day. I really look forward to having it every single morning. AG1 is where it's at. If you guys would like to give it a go for yourself, you're welcome to use our link. And they'll also throw in a year's supply of their vitamin D3 and K2, as well as five of their travel packs, which are these here. Slip them in a backpack anywhere you want, take them with you for free with your first purchase. Just head to athleticgreens.com forward slash SLV. Very happy to share the love with a company that's trying to do so well by us and the planet. Cheers. We're hungry, we need to eat lunch first and then once we eat lunch, what do you want to do? Go for lunch and the dinghy. Okay, but you have to pick where. Should we have a look at the map and see where we should go? Okay, look Lenny, this is actually all the things that there is to see here. You can click on them and have a look at the pictures. We have to dive through here. Okay, you want to go on the other side of the bridge? Yeah. You want to look at some other things? Yeah. There you go, you click on the red things. That says for a goat. It's a goat. Mama, but I want to see goats. You want to see goats? Yeah. He wants to see goats. <laughs> Lenny wants to see the goats. He's clicking on all the fun things there is to do here. Oh, right, so he's seen a goat. Yeah. Oh. And a goat. Yeah. Is that a sheep, though? No, it's a goat. Okay. Is it a sheep? I don't know. Maybe it's a goat. Let's go and find out, hey? Let's go and find the goat. It's going to drop by only 40 centimetres. Yeah, only 40 centimetres. Can you tell Dada where the blue patch of sand is? Dada, blue patch of sand is right there. Right here. Lady, can you see the sandy patch? Yeah. Can you tell me when to drop the anchor? We want the anchor to land in the sandy patch. Keep going about 10 metres. Okay, should Dada drop it now? Dada, drop it now. Drop it now. Oh, I can't do it. Can you help me? Quick, go get it. You gotta push that button. Got to get him to put his hands here because he gets itchy fingers and he starts <laughs> pushing stuff. <laughs> hey Lenny, now it's lunch time. What do you want for lunch? Because today you can do to anything you want. Off. What are you turning off? I, I forgot to turn the rudder off. No, he's um he's turning the rudder off. Oh. Don't, don't you know? <laughs> How are your noodles, Lenny? 
Not good? Are you lying? They look pretty good to me. A YouTube channel with 1.7 million followers and my kid really really wants to come today oh is there any chance at all Mama, I want to go to the door. we never do that she's I never done that. apart from to see the goats in Eleuthera <laughs> I'm not a, I'm not joking I've never heard her say that that's appalling behavior Elena. <laughs> we need to get into these goats is that what we should be teaching you Lenny to pull Swifty maneuvers like that. Say, shy burns getting out. Shy. Shy burns getting out. Shy burns. Burns, which means like shy kids. Okay. <laughs> don't ask, you don't get. Yeah. <laughs> the squeaky wheel gets the oil. Is that the Australian version? I think so. <laughs> okay, Lenny, you ready? Okay, where should we go? Let me try the map. Going the right way, Lenny? Yeah. Okay. I still haven't received a message back from the farm. I messaged them on all their social media being like, please. <laughs> I've never been so annoying before. The goats were half a day's hike away. We were hoping there'd be some kind of miracle and they'd reply to our hilarious requests of possibly being picked up and shown around the closed farm. Lenny's shoes, I bought him some new shoes the other day. Probably didn't try them on him well enough because they just keep falling off. So we've left them back at the house where the dinghy is. It's a 40 minute walk to the bridge and there are mosquitoes everywhere. So that's what's going on at the moment. Do you want a piggyback? Yes. Okay. Lenny's never been in this baby carrier before. We just figured out he could get in it. His Darwin is not loving it today, he's just been screaming. So Darwin's asleep in Riley's arms. <laughs> Lenny is now the camel rider. Oh my god, I'm exhausted. What just happened? I looked over and he was asleep. Well, I wasn't expecting this. Really? Yeah. Oh, thank you. You're welcome. It's too hard to walk with the baby. It's so hot, isn't it? And these lovely people saved us, everyone. Thank you. <laughs> okay, we're swapping cars, okay. apparently. Thanks, Stephanie. You're welcome. <laughs> thank you so much. No awesome. problem. Thank you. All right, see ya. No, no. So we just made it to the glass bridge. This bridge is the only place in the Bahamas where you can actually see the roaring Atlantic side and then the Exuma sound on this side. You guys are not going to believe this because I've been harassing the farm on all their social media. They're actually going to open up the farm just for us this afternoon and they're coming to pick us up as well. They're like, please, we'll fill up the tank. Like, my child would love to come and see the goats. So, yeah. Mama, yeah. I'm your son. You are my son, yeah. <laughs> you like the bridge? No. No. I just only want to go for a hike. You just wanted to go for a hike? Yeah. You don't like the bridge? It's not that impressive. It looks good from the drone. It's not worth hiking up a dirt road with a kid strapped to you. It's a little almond tree we have here. Almond tree? Yeah, oh. we have a moringa tree here. Lenny, are you excited to see the animals? I want to see the animals in there. Yeah, we're just waiting for the nice lady to go let us in. Who have we got here? My name is Theandra. This is my brother's farm. That really pretty one right there is the male and then that's the female. Okay. It's an eagle. An eagle? Eagle goat. Yeah, we are. It's actually a lamb, Lenny. Hey, Lenny, do you want to feed the lamb now? Of this? 
No, with the bottle. The bottle? Uh-huh, we're going to feed it with a bottle. Can you do that? That's my bottle? No, your bottle. It doesn't drink human milk. Okay. Oh. <laughs> That's it, you got to hold it really tight, Lenny. <laughs> Okay, you finish, Helen. Ooh. All finished. Wow, that's the fastest bottle drink ever, Lenny. Now's your chance. You want to pat Lenny before he goes running away? Helen, come play. He come from Wales, Australia. <laughs> Just to play with you. Come. Thank you. Bye. All right, come on, kitties. Let's go find Ellie on the boat. She's high and dry. <laughs> oh, I get saved. Elena goes, if Ellie asked, tell her that was fun. And I was like, why? <laughs> and she goes, I just don't want to be negative. And I said, it wasn't, like, it wasn't that bad that I need to lie to people. 40 minute walk to the bridge. You like the bridge? No. Darwin, he's just been screaming. <laughs> oh my God, I'm exhausted. <laughs> it was bad enough that I definitely need a beer. <laughs> For sure. <laughs> what the? Is it nice? It's beautiful. Don't you dare. <laughs> what a day. I was just saying to Elena, it wasn't so bad that we need to come home and lie to you to say how wonderful it was. Uh, okay. But I, I definitely name, need I a like, beer. What a spread, Ellie. <laughs> oh. No. You gotta laugh. Oh my god. Yeah, oh, that was so you. sorry. Right, so we've just made. Hey, 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 oh, hey, don't you dare! No. Just no. made Riley and Lenny's bed out here, uh, but we've shipped off Lenny to my room to watch an episode of Octonauts so that we can watch the boys, which is a superhero show. A little bit of violence. Don't want Lenny seeing it. Darwin is not going to sleep. He's been going to bed really late lately. We cannot get him to sleep. Hey, a bit of a nightmare. So you're gonna watch the boys with us? We actually just wanted to ask all of you guys what you thought of that episode more focused on Lenny. People have said you guys should start a channel for Lenny or for Darwin or for Lenny and Darwin. And I didn't even want to have the kids on film at the start. So Casey Neistat and Peter McKinnon both don't have their kids' faces on film. And so I really, really thought about that. And it wasn't until my dad, who would normally, he's the sort of guy that would be like, you shouldn't do that. He said in five years time or 10 years time, when you're looking back, and you've blurred their faces or they're, they're not there for the adventure, it would be weird. And he didn't think that they would like it or appreciate that. So it wasn't until I spoke to him about that that I felt comfortable even putting their faces in our videos at all. Which, let's face it, would have been impossible, looking back now, because of the nature of the videos that we make. It would have been so hard. Impossible. You know, we would have had to have canned the show. I used to think about it a lot and now I think about it every so often, but an entirely different thing is starting their own show, which I think would go really well on YouTube. I think it could be a positive thing to encourage kids to be outdoors and swimming and learning and doing all that sort of stuff. I think there's, a, there's enough negative influences out there that, that could be really beneficial, but say it exploded, you know? then how does that impact on Lenny and Darwin? They're the things that we've spoken about on board a bunch of different times and people whose opinion I really respect, I've asked them that a few times. And now I'm asking you guys whose opinion 
I also respect. Music.